much. Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Sprint. In this video, we are going to learn about service account impersonation. Impersonation means acting on somebody's behalf and doing the job. In, I highly recommend you to you watch this uh, service account part one. This will give you a context what we will be talking about in this video. If you are interested only in impersonation, you can continue watching this video as well. In last video, we did these four steps where we created a service account, we assigned the role, we downloaded the JSON key and authenticated G Cloud with service account and then uploaded and downloaded the files. Here, the third step, which is downloading the JSON key, is not at all secure because when you create a JSON key, it is at risk because you're going to share with your teammates over email, over uh, file system or however you want to share it it has very very high potential to get compromised to avoid this situation google provides us a better solution which we are going to do now that thing is called service account impersonation what is impersonation so suppose john miller is a user and john is not having permissions to create cloud storage we have a service account which we created in the last uh, video which bucket read service it is it has the role of service admin john only need a role called service account token creator once john has this role you assign that role john can impersonate as bucket read service service account and create a bucket on behalf of the service account how it will be done when John will try to create a bucket. Of course, John has to impersonate a service account. While doing it, a token will be generated. That token is short-lived token. It will do the job and will close the session. That's how you can do the job without generating the key and only generating a token as per the need basis. We're going to see this in action, but for now understand when anybody can act as anybody provided right set of permissions. In the lab, we'll go ahead and see quickly. Today's hands-on lab will be about, we'll assign service account, the required permissions to create a bucket. We'll assign John Miller required permission to impersonate and create token. Strictly, we are not going to generate any service account key because that's the point of creating this video because you should know how you will be working in any uh, company. Fourth step will be, will John Miller will try to create a bucket using his own credentials imp only by impersonating a service account. In the last video, we activated, downloaded the key, activated the session, and then we copied and read and write the files to the bucket. But now I'm not downloading any key. I'll not be downloading any key. And then I'll show you how can we create the bucket. Let's hit the labs now. To see these four steps in action. See you on the other side. In last video, we have created the service account, bucket read service. We also have created a bucket. We downloaded the key and then we wrote the files in this bucket. You can also see we assigned permissions on the resource level, which is just on this particular bucket, not an overall project. This was the bucket name which we created last time. Today, we are going to do something different, which is without generating the key, how can we create a serve or create a bucket? John Miller, in this example, John Miller is one of the user from the DevOps group. He wants to create a bucket, but without assigning or generating the key, we have to use the service account, assign roles to both of them. And then John has to impersonate as the service account and then create this uh, cloud storage bucket. That, that will be the example. So let's go ahead and do it. So you, you go to the user directory and you can see John Miller is here. And uh, we will now go ahead and give required rights to John Miller. In fact, let's do that before doing that. Let's see what error we will get that will help you to understand the error also because that is part of uh, the 
working on this area. So we ensure that we have logged in as John Miller. John Miller is a member of DevOps group. Uh, yeah, you can see John has no permission. He's part of this DevOps group. DevOps group has viewer permission. So John can see uh, all the uh, all the resources of this project, but he cannot uh, do anything, which in this case, we have to create a bucket. So he should not be able to create the bucket. You can see that as we have logged in as John, I cannot create the bucket. When you go to the create button, you can see it is disabled for John because he don't have right to create a bucket. Now what we'll do, we will open the Cloud Shell session. In this Cloud Shell session, we will authenticate as John Miller. We'll log in as John Miller and then try to create the bucket. In last video, what we did, we logged in as a user called Pushkar Sharan at cloudsprint.in, downloaded the key, authenticated it, and then created using that service account. But today we are not going to download any key. Yeah, let me do gcloud auth list. You can see active star means this is the active account. You can have multiple authentications in place within one cloud shell session. Now, since the session is set, let me try to create a bucket. Of course, from UI, I cannot create, but from CLI, can I? The command is Google G Cloud Storage Buckets Create and the full bucket name. It is trying to create it. Oh, I got the error. And the error says that 403, which is you do not have storage bucket create access. This is what we wanted, right? We don't want to give John any permission, yet we want him to create a bucket. And now here comes the first part of our uh, example, which is giving John and the service account uh, required permissions. Let's go ahead and give those permissions to them. Yep, here. You can go to service account. Let's copy the full service account email address that because we have to assign the required permissions to both of them. Now I want to give rights on entire project. So I will create a uh, IAM policy over here. Resource is this project. The principal is the service account and role will be storage admin because I want to play with storage and I want to create a delete bucket without storage admin you have to create a custom role but since for this example we can use storage admin all right i'm just clicking save this will attach the these three um, set of i am policy and create an i am policy for me which means that this particular service account will be able to create buckets that is the first part of it second what i'm going to do is I'm going to assign permission to John Miller as well, because so far we have not given any permission to John Miller. He is a viewer because he's part of a group. With that, he cannot create a bucket. Now comes the part of impersonation. I want to give John, the source will be data science pro project. So on project level, John should be able to create tokens, which is impersonate as others the role is called service account token creator you can see impersonate service accounts create auth tokens etc so i am again attaching this policy so this was one of the ask that assign the required permission so we give john service account token creator and we give the service account storage admin so john still don't have uh, much permission he can just create tokens but he cannot uh, create uh, buckets directly yet let's give it one more try can he do that okay i'm gonna list the buckets to check it yeah first example of impersonation is gs util gs util is um, cli to communicate with buckets i'm saying gs util hyphen i which is impersonate 
the entire service account name which we just gave the storage admin right ls which means list all the buckets within this project within this project and within this where within the service account uh, access if it has yes you did get the response this time now because you impersonated john impersonated as the service account without generating the key okay and he could get the output as ga service account demo cloud spend you can see above you have just one bucket in this project that was the idea of impersonation so we have just listed it to check the connectivity that and access that if we can list the buckets or not now i'm going to create the bucket g cloud storage buckets create yeah let me click on enter the bucket name is also fine yeah oh again we are stuck with an error why because again this time we try to create with john miller's id only now we are going to try again by impersonating a service account. The command is gcloud impersonate service account. Yeah, this time you can see the bucket is created. The command is gcloud impersonate service account full name, email address, storage, buckets, create, and the bucket name with gs double slash. This time the bucket is created that's the reason because this time you impersonated john impersonated as a service account that's why he could access the rights what service account has what happened in between it created a token you can see the bucket is also created successfully when you did this a token was created when john submitted the request to api a token was created that token helped to uh, create this bucket yeah again you can re-verify that only with the service account token creator without generating any key you any user can impersonate and as any user and create it any resource if if the service account has that permissions that is the concept of impersonation it's very very powerful you can use it for uh, doing your terraform deployments your ci cd etc Few, few uh, documentation part which I wanted to highlight was uh, you can obtain the short-lived credentials with workload identity. You can also uh, see this uh, CLI stuff which is uh, get IAM policy, set IAM policy. This All the service account, below the service account, you should practice these commands because they are very important for the exams. You can how can you set an IAM policy from the console or you can get you can create delete describe these things you must at least have a look before you appear for the exam because these are important next bit is creating short-lived token which is uh, we just did example you can create short-lived tokens and uh, that is going to uh, without generating key you can do a lot of stuff and uh, last part is that how do you impersonate there are three ways to do it service account user service account token creator which we just did in this example we generated a JWT token and third is workload identity user it is used for uh, working with kubernetes pods where you can authenticate your pod with any uh, service account that's the way of uh, impersonation when you work with gke this concludes I am for this particular exam, which is Associate Cloud Engineering exam. I have created five videos about I am, and it is more than sufficient to cover the exam. You really need to know I am by heart, so I really recommend you go through these five videos and do practical as well. That's really going to help you when you pass the exam. With this video, all foundational work of creating organizations, setting up users, understanding the uh, roles groups is done now we'll be starting to learn one service every week so that's the idea if you like the content please subscribe to my channel thank you very much for your time have a good day